Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato, and welcome to a brand new Normal Entertainment Let's Play. Game of Thrones, a Telltale series. Now, this is coming from an interesting place. Um, I have read all the Game of Thrones books, unless improbably the uh, sixth book comes out by the time before this video comes before this video comes out. And I have seen up to episode li season like five of the show. So I understand it. I understand the world I'm going into. I know what happens. I know what it's like. But I cannot stand Game of Thrones. Well, I, I think there's like three or four characters, like two, three, uh, like three left in all of Game of Thrones who don't infuriate me. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've given up on the show. It's just everyone I like seems to die. So yeah, fuck that show. Anyway, but uh, that's all. Here's hoping the game will be different because it doesn't really do the characters. It has its own characters. Let's see what it is. Let's see what we get. Begin episode one. I like Tyrion. He's like Tyrion and Arya are the only characters left. I don't f and Jon Snow because I think he's somehow now not dead for some reason, even though he's dead in the books. Like yeah, only characters I I don't fucking hate. <laughs> for thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim enforced ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. It is time for the boy without a fairy to claim his destiny. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be qu uh, quickly jumping to uh, the trout, the trout, the trout. settings as quickly as possible. Because there are a few things you need to do. First... I need full screen. And we're gonna set it to the highest resolution so it looks good for you guys. We also are going to need subtitles, because you can't change these on the menu. I don't know why, but you can't change these on the menu. Anyway, we're good to go. Let's, uh, back to the game. So I turn into Tirith. More beers than ever seen The Walking Dead. The great Jamie Lannister. Yeah, fuck Jamie Lannister. Both breakers. Brought to his Darren knees Tubbles by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Be a cool sword that could clean itself. That's a pretty weapon. Up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. There we go. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. Good penny worse I had a hand in it, you know. Hand him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege Lord, Lord some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup, the night we celebrate. 
Thank you, Malone. I like the art style. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king, of the king, king of the north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Aye the North remembers. Got it. My, uh, my favorite house was the Starks, mainly because I yes, really like wolves. And I it need had you the most to keep an eye out for Rodri. Except for fucking Sansa. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? Uh, it's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best. My lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. Oh, it would be nice. an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. Yes, sir. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Uh, yeah. Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. No need to act different. Uh, what uh, Lord Forrester there said not to. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? I love that line. Ah, pig farmers. Everyone loves bacon, dude. No pig All farmers, you'd have no bacon. Is... At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. Uh, peasants? Slaves? For all I know, we could be They're squires low. for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Oh, they could... Oh, good God, the Red Wedding. Well, this isn't going to go very well. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. That sounds sinister. Fucking phrase. Run, run. Nice leave. night for a wedding. Nice night for the Red Wedding. They're all armed. There are weapons everywhere. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. They're loading crossbows and preparing them. We gotta get out. The Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Need to leave. What? Need to leave. What's wrong? Just run into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Boy, yeah, we have to him. go! You go if you're in such a rush. 
Run, Owen. Say go. What? What about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? You don't need a fucking run. They've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Yep, Bowen. See what's going on now? Ooh. We need to get back to camp. Then he gets distracted by another sword. to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! Suffered worse. Well, the phrase says time to don't go. <sighs> Ooh. Guard this with your life. Return it to Iron Wrath where it belongs. There's no time to win. Yes, my lord. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go, my lord. By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. 
tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. It's not our place hey, to question. We're a squire. Now go. Oh, you know, well, you they must do this for your house. Knight, I guess. Go! I'm gonna be a knight. Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! There's a floating sword. We love ah! the fray. There's a floating sword. So he's gonna deal with the magic floating sword? Okay. Run. <laughs> and now it's time for the one thing I still kinda like about Game of Thrones. The intro. This song is good, and the whole uh, gear animatic is really cool. That one. King's Landing, Lannisters, the twins are just were a phrase. White Run, no, White Run. The first town, you, uh, city you go to in Skyrim. Iron, episode one, Iron from Ice. And here we are walking the road in, in the Forester Lands. Probably not going to be attacked by zombies, even though there are kind of zombies in Game of Thrones. Because most of the Telltale I've played is The Walking Dead, so this situation would generally go badly. Oh, it's a piggy. We have control now. The blood. Blood. It's not black, so it's not zombies. It's not walkers. Fresh. Ooh, dead piggy. Ah, shit! They got Colin. Crap. You know, fun fact about Colin and Death, in the first, uh, spoilers by the way, skip if you don't want them. If the, um, in the, like, first issue of Fables that I read, Colin dies. No, in the second issue of Fables that I read, Colin dies. Second issue, second arc, second story arc, because it has multiple story arcs. Story arcs in that with the murder of Red and the um, That's father's people on the farm having a rebellion. Fables on the farm having a rebellion, sorry. Led by Goldilocks. And always Lord like Bolton better Goldilocks. give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Oh no, that's a flayed man. <laughs> that's a Bolton banner. Don't know what that other banner is. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father. I said move on. Gotta help our dad. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. <laughs> Forrester. I should have known. I'm not hiding it. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Uh, 
No. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. I. You'll have it. Sword. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig. <gasps> Ooh. See you hang for this. That much I promise. You should have like sheared the leg out, stabbed his horse, and beaten him to death with the pommel of the sword. That was a funny glitchy uh, run Mother? cycle. Garrett, you survived. I did. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, that could have gone better. And there's Iron Wrath. Stronghold of House Forester. And we're gonna go there. We walked that far on a stabbed leg. It's Garrett! Garrett. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew Garrett. survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers? Yep. And a Bolton. White Hills. They killed my them. family. And for what? I know the Boltons. The bastards. My sister, them. she. They flay people. She was it's only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's no, it wouldn't. Guy who looks disturbingly like me. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. I always love showing up until Taylor games. He's got a slightly mm, thinner face. Blade but cut deep, but I should be hair, able to the save beard, your leg. The eyes, the nose. It's me. It's me. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. What the... the Hold the what? window open for me, would you? Oh, that, that is gross. I'm... Oh, God. No. 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 
I'm not looking at this. I'm not looking at this. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Yep. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if yep. you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, sure, sure. Oh, I'm on it. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I'm gonna look at a few things. Window. The Ironwood Grove. Ooh, shield. An Ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. So with an Ironwood shield and a Valerian steel sword, you'd be kind mm. of pretty much set. You see That's a chair. Tapestry. Asher. Ooh, who's this fellow? Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Okay, uh... Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Okay, uh... Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth-born son. But Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Well, that's House Forrester, I guess. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. So look at the medical supplies. I'm gonna take these bandages. Might need them one day. Take the healing herbs. This might help. Uh, look at the bucket. Oh god, it's full of maggots. I'll do something I would never do in real life. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? They're disgusting I little guess. freaks. I hate them. I hate maggots. And the thing is, I don't have a problem with bugs. Well, except insect enemies in video games because they're always the worst but I, uh, I no. don't you see that a, you're limping again I'm fine really don't have a problem with bu with bugs in real life but maggots freak me the fuck out keep moving I need to see you walk okay okay <laughs> I'll admit you do seem better than was to be expected I believe your leg will be fine only time will tell but Lady Forrester Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, 
I heard what happened. Looks like him. Is it true? Your family... Looks a little Hermione-ish. A little bit. so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. He was stabbed in the back by a coward. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Hey. I'm not going to give away said the North loved you. thing. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Thank you. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. On a bike in King's Landing. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a won't. risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. To the wall, then. Cool. That settles it, then. Meet John Snow. You can have my horse. Oh, and I'll see you. you have plenty of food. But Which we haven't good? much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. We can do this next time. To then, I'm Merrick Tomato. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick Tomato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. 
And if you like if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!